In this video, we will be introducing you to the advanced HVAC and R trainer. This is part of the environmental control range of practical teaching equipment from Tech Equipment. If you want to teach or are studying heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration, HVAC and R systems, at an advanced level, this piece of teaching equipment could be what you need. The beauty of this entire system apparatus is that it allows you to both analyse individual and combine psychrometric processes commonly used in air conditioning. Plus, study concepts such as the vapour compression refrigeration cycle, including the use of pressure enthalpy charts. Before we jump into the technicalities, for those watching that are pondering why HVAC and R is such an issue, let me bring in a little context. Rising environmental concerns and increasing worldwide energy demands are driving future engineers to understand air conditioning systems and how to make these more energy efficient in order to reduce the environmental footprint and save money. Air conditioning involves full control over temperature, humidity, air quality within the conditioned space. Broadly speaking, air conditioning systems fall into two categories. These are human comfort and process air conditioning systems. Four air processes are required in order to control the environment. These are heating, cooling, humidification and dehumidification. Now let's get back to the advanced HVAC and R trainer. There are three main elements to this apparatus, the control panel up here and two units for understanding different types of HVAC and R systems, the air handling unit and the water chiller. A recirculating duct and an environmental control chamber that you can see here can each be purchased as extra ancillaries to extend the experimentational options. For HVAC, we have the air handling unit, which conditions the air using one or more different processes. It allows you to analyse psychrometric processes commonly used in air conditioning, both individually or as a combined system. By working step by step through the experiments in the user guide, students can learn about PID controlled electric heating, isothermal humidification, cooling, adiabatic humidification, adiabatic mixing of air streams and the concept of human comfort. For refrigeration, we have the water chiller that enables you to delve deeper into the topic for a full understanding of the vapour compression refrigeration cycle. While running experiments outlined in the user guide, you can plot the psychrometric cycle in real time, calculate and plot the data for pH diagram, learn about superheat and subcooling diagrams, as well as understand the refrigerant mass for flow rate and COP. This is an advanced piece of apparatus, and with this in mind has versatile data acquisition integrated, i.e. VDAS is on board. That means all the charting can be done for you within the software and the results can automatically be recorded. With the overview done, now it's time to look at the different elements more closely. At the core, the base unit includes the control panel. This has all the control functionality for changing the airflow velocity, temperature, water flow rates, and has the VDAS on board included as well. Onto the air handling unit, which attaches to the base unit. Starting over here, the air enters the unit through a grill with a filter and dampener in the air intake control area. Just a little along is the variable speed fan that can move at a maximum of 1200 cubic meters per hour. Further along, there is a PID controlled electric heater and then an electric immersion heater for steam humidification. There's a water heater to heat the heat exchanger that draws the water using a pump from the water in the tank with the flow measured by a flow meter. After this section is the air washer humidifier that is connected to a pump that pulls water from the tank. Then there is another PID controlled electric heater and finally an outlet for the air. Moving on to the water chiller for understanding refrigeration. The water in the tank here is controlled by the evaporator coil using R134 refrigerant. The water can then be used by the water to air heat exchanger inside the air handling unit to cool down the air. 
to allow students to analyse the heat transfer across the water to air heat exchanger under different loads, there's a water flow meter and a pair of thermocouples along with a variable flow pump provided. The additional recirculating duct and ciliary allows students to investigate adiabatic mixing of air systems at different mass flow rates, as well as expanding the boundaries of physical and thermodynamic properties of gas vapour mixtures. The last main section of hardware is another ancillary, the environmental control chamber. This takes the student experience to another level, allowing them to physically experience the changes in temperature and humidity. Like I'm doing now, as you can see, a student can stand within this two cubic metre chamber that mimics a room. You can then assess the comfort level and compare this with industry specific calculations, such as the predicted mean vote and percentage of people dissatisfied. You can see that all the elements are fitted with lights and windows, allowing students to clearly see the components of each air process. And fitted at the end of each air process are temperature and humidity sensors. There are also two airflow sensors within the main unit and an additional one within the recirculating duct and ciliary for mass balance. These are movable and can be placed in pockets that are positioned at the different air processes. Data acquisition is all done using Techquipment's versatile data acquisition system, also known as VDAS. This consists of the hardware, which is VDAS on board in this case, and the software, which is free to download from Techquipment's website. I'm just going to touch here on some of the specific charting capabilities now. The pressure enthalpy and the psychrometric charts can be created easily by clicking on the respective icons on the toolbar. Within each of these, you can adjust variables by checking or unchecking boxes to show items. For the pressure enthalpy chart, you can turn on and off items including constant entropy, temperature, specific volume and quality. Likewise, on the psychrometric chart, you can adjust wet bulb temperature, constant specific volume, specific enthalpy and constant relative humidity. For more information about the advanced HVAC and R trainer and other standalone experiments in the environmental control range from Tech Equipment, click on the links. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.